This is our model of the proposed new development and I thought I would just talk you through what we're doing and why we're doing it. There are four main components, if you like, to what we're doing. Um, we know that there's some money needs to be spent on the spire, there's some corrosion and, and so on, so that there's a job to be done there. There's some work to be done on the roof. Not amazingly urgent and not very major but nevertheless significant and we do want to do that to preserve this lovely building which we hold in trust from a previous generation and we uh, it's perhaps not the building we would build if we were starting today but it's a lovely building and one of the few heritage buildings left in Camberley. If you drive down the London Road you've got the White Elephant, you've got this, you've got the frontage of the old school and you've got the frontage of the um, Old Town Hall, which is now Derrick Horn Court, and there's not a lot le else left, so we cherish this and we're preserving it and working together with others to do it. So, the spire and the roof. But the other thing we want to do is work uh, to make the church open for all. So we're going to raise the road surface at the front so there are no steps, so it's flat going into the church. Then, when you come into the church, the idea is to remove all the different levels. At the moment, there is all sorts of trip hazards inside. So we're working very hard, have worked very hard, to produce a scheme where it'll be one level all the way through from here, right through into the hall. And then to have a dais, some people say dais, up here, um, so that you can have small services up in the uh, chancel area up there, and main services down here. Then the, the idea is there will be three new doors, one, two, three, which will come through under there, there and there into the new annex. Now the new annex is quite deliberately designed not to be, to look like the church, but it's, uh, it reflects perhaps the Victorian spirit of innovation. I like to think it's the sort of thing which Frederick Middleton would have built if he was around today, because it's very much purpose designed. So we asked for a place which was welcoming, so the three doors um, from inside the church plus doors from outside. Um, you saw perhaps earlier on the video the uh, vista out across the churchyard. From the existing hall you can't see that. From the existing hall you can't see the church itself, but you've got these lovely glass windows. You can look back up and see the illuminated church. Some people come into our existing hall and don't really know there's a church there. When you're inside, there's one large space, but we will have um, partitions which come across, meaning we can partition it off to form three separate areas for different hirers and different use. And each one will have its own entrance from the church and its own entrance from outside. One, two and three. Each one will have its own loo. Uh, one of which obviously will be um, a disabled loo. The kitchen area here will be accessible through a hatch for these people here and through a door for these people here. If you uh, want coffee at this end, we'll have to send a trolley up, I guess. So um, the idea is that instead of the small, rather constricted hall, which is rather tired we've got, which was put up in the 1970s, 1980s, um, we've got a state-of-the-art building which will be um, useful for people in the church, yes, but also for the wider community. Across West Camberley, there's an acknowledged need, uh, need for more community space, especially since we lost the British Legion.